Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and uh, Libra Rising weekly tarot reading, June 24th to a June 30th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and uh, we can jump uh, directly to the reading. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic for Libra, that will be uh, the Two of Wands, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that Libra needs to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be uh, the Ten of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect for Libra's week, we have the uh, Queen of Cups. And then the last one, uh, which stands for the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Libras, uh, we do have the Four of Wands. All right, so once again, Two of Wands, it's the topic, followed by the uh, Ten of Cups, which stands for the challenges. Afterwards, is going to be the, uh, two, the uh, Queen of Cups, excuse me, for the um, positive aspect. And the last one, uh, we have the Four of Wands, which is the guidance. All right, so, um, well, uh, this week, Libra, it, uh, it seems that you need to make uh, some sort of a uh, retrospection, if I may express myself that way. Mm, how can I describe it? Well, I will try to describe it that way, so you're going to have that urge to uh, push toward something new, to to make a new exciting enterprises for yourself and in most of above everything else excuse me to um expand on your current skill or your current relationship career and you name it now however um there are still some there are gonna be still some unfinished businesses that uh, you will need to attend to before you can uh, um strive yourself toward these uh, new enterprises, like for example, new projects, new people to get to meet with, and etc. etc. So uh, <clears throat> the two of ones here, which stands for the uh, for the topic of the week, it does point that you have get far with uh, with whatever you are dealing with, you know, or with your undertakings, but. You should not stop here uh, with your future performance and you need to try to develop those undertakings even further by expanding on your skills, by expanding on your knowledge, you know, or by expanding on your presence, that is, if it is about relationship. Now, with the two of wands, however, uh, <clears throat> the part where you initiate upon it it's not yet uh, arrived. What I'm trying to say is that right now, throughout the week, you need to scope the horizon, you need to make your research, you know, and uh, you need, in general, you need to create for yourself a plan how to act upon those, uh, upon those urges. So the week, even though the topic itself, it's rather very active, okay? It's active on a, uh, a mental activity rather than on a physical activity. 
The accompanied card here, it is the Two of Cups and we're definitely talking about passiveness because Two is the number of, uh, of passiveness, of being led by either the circumstances or other people. And in this case, it's about circumstances because these couple of cards are a active enemies. <clears throat> And we're talking about a, a progress made on your own, you know, direction that you are going to choose for yourself rather than for the others which are around you, which doesn't necessarily mean that your relationships aren't, aren't, aren't going to work out, you know, that you ain't going to find someone to fall in love with and so on and so forth. Here we are talking more about the, the grand scheme of things, you know, it's more like what you want for yourself from life, uh, which is going to be different from uh, the person next to you, uh, let's say. And for that reason, you cannot... So what I'm trying to say here, Libra, is that you cannot... Or you should not rely that you are to carry on with someone uh, as you stray toward your agenda. People are going to come around. People are going to go around as well and walk away also from, uh, from that part of yours. And for that reason, you need to structure this plan that I talked about uh, a little bit more on a, a singular level. So whoever is next to you, that's great. But if you don't have anybody next to you, that's even better. So uh, the challenges here, it is the Ten of Cups. And this card, it is very contradictive because it has, at least what I do suspect here, guys, is that it has these um, contradictive properties that are displayed. First of all, the card points that it's going to be challenging for you to count your blessings or, in other words, to recognize the positivity around you and what you need to develop on, it, uh, develop on not just further, but let's say to... Um, to secure and to consolidate. And additionally to that, the card points that you may find it very difficult to clinch upon this uh, part of the human nature that we always need and want more. So what the card here points is that it's going to be challenging for you to figure out the plan how you can expand on your skills and your relationship on your career without you jeopardizing anything that you have currently achieved with your performance. The accompanied card is going to be the Five of Cups. So the formation here it is a, a passive supporters that we do have. And the Five of Cups points to that, um, how can I describe it? <clears throat> well, it's kind of like a uh, being uh, more like believing in the doom and gloom. I don't know how really to describe it. It's more like uh, having that... Uh, um, attitude of a, a a defeat you know being being defeated um and like an attitude that you have to sacrifice something over anything else uh you need to accept that situation as let's say a uh, a chess game <clears throat> where you for example sacrifice the pawn so you can uh claim the queen and afterwards or rather like sacrifice the queen so you can push the pawn forward and reclaim another queen. It's, it's very difficult to describe, but yeah, it's more like a, uh, a time where you need to carefully maneuver and only uh, be willing to sacrifice those, those kind of things or circumstances which you can regain afterwards, okay? So the positive aspect of the week is going to be this uh, woman here, most likely because it's the Queen of Cups. So uh, how that woman is going to be uh, in a positive aspect here it is that, uh, well, the very general interpretation of the card is that you're going to have someone who is to support you emotionally throughout the week, really cheering you up and, and trying to understand, to understand the plights or the difficulties that you're going through. And under difficulties, I don't mean that you're going to struggle, but like I said, you may find it difficult, you know, to uh, figure out which way you should expand on your either career or either relationship. These are not difficulties of struggles, these are difficulties of uh, progressing on forward or what direction you are to progress forward. So unfortunately, this uh, queen or this person here that we do have will not be able to lay you down the answer. They will not be able to divulge, to divulge on any sensitive information whatsoever. But um, what I do suspect that they're going to do for you guys is to... Uh, they're going to open your mind for 
these kind of current standpoints that you do have, which you need to put extra efforts in in order to consolidate on them. Just to give you an example of it, <clears throat> let's say that you are just on a verge to get promoted, you know, and this new promotion is going to uh, require bigger devotion from you, but you do have a family. So what that queen is going to do uh, for you is going to empathize upon that you need to uh, think about the family as well while you take the promotion and manage your time in such a way that your family does not feel your absence. The accompanied card here is going to be the five of um, swords formation. It is a, a passive neutrals that we do have. So with the five of swords to the queen, uh, it's, it's uh, we are talking about cheering up here. Just like I said before, I drew the five of swords where this queen believes uh, that more than you do in yourself. Uh, that queen believes that you do have some sort of a, a hidden potential, like an unfolded potential, and will encourage you to, uh, to try to unfold that potential. Like I said, unfortunately, she, she most likely ain't gonna be able to tell you how, but she will definitely going to empathize on that you need to find a way to unfold this potential. So we're talking, now I can summarize upon the reading, guys, that um, you do have some sort of a, 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 a hidden either knowledge or either skill or a potential in general that you need to, to figure out how you can unfold. And this uh, insight is gonna come to you throughout this week, June 24th to June 30th, 2019. So finally, we do have the Guidance card, Libra, and that will be the Four of Wands. So Four of Wands here points that whatever you um, figure out throughout the week, your intentions behind it should be that you need to, um, wait a second, should be so you need to go as far as it needs to go. It's, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, it's difficult to explain, but... Yeah, you should not start anything that you cannot bring to its very end. That is one way how we can interpret the four of ones here. And another way is that when you do have a spare time, just enjoy yourself, enjoy life, celebrate, you know, spend time with friends, make new friends as well. That is one of uh, what, that is one of the interpretations of uh, the four of ones and pay attention to your family as well. The accompanied card here is going to be the Three of Cups <clears throat> formation. It is a uh, active uh, enemies that we do have. And unfortunately, that is another confirmation that it is very likely you are going to be understood from other people. And from that Queen of Cups, um, additionally, she will try to understand your plights, all right, but maybe she ain't going to be able to for their full extent. But the thing what differentiates that queen from the rest is that this queen blindly believes in you. I mean, she does have that unconditional uh, clamor uh, in you and into your in your capabilities. Uh, and that basically is going to make her, the queen itself, a, uh, a companion to your life, maybe, who knows. But um, that will be even better, for example, uh, if, let's say, that queen is your boss or if that queen is your supervisor and they have, you know, infinite clamor in you. Well, I can very well see that they will start thinking about um, promoting you in any way as soon as they have a chance and as soon as they figure out how they can fit you in this uh, higher ladder of the hierarchy into the company that you're working at. So that being said, Libra, this was your weekly tarot reading for June 24th to June 30th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.